Hey folks, Dave Fraser here with the Regina Leader Post, joined by my colleague, political columnist Murray Mandrake. And quick story time uh, before we get started here on how things work at the Legislative Building. Every morning, about 15 minutes from now, so about 10.30 in the morning, uh, a member of the NDP comes up, a, a staffer, comes up to the press gallery, which is just upstairs from here, meets with the press gallery journalists and explains to us what they're going to be bringing up in question period that day. It gives us an opportunity to be briefed on what the day is going to be. Uh, on an embargo basis. On an embargo basis. We can't do anything with this, but it's just we know what's going to come up. This week and last week, though, Murray, a lot of those meetings have sort of left you, myself, and a couple of other people in the press gallery kind of looking at each other going, what are they doing? Well, what, what they're doing right now is playing out realistic problems in politics and governance. When you have a small opposition, you only have 12 people. Right. You only have so much opportunity because you're funded per member to do research capacity and get into really good issues. Sometimes also by this point in the session, and it's early May, we're about two, three weeks from finishing up, you just simply run out of questions if you've been going at it since March. So you're at the bottom of the barrel. Thirdly, in my opinion, you have a new leader who has been pushing forward his own agendas. And sometimes that agenda isn't easy to sell. And in contrast to a really simplistic uh, but strong agenda from Scott Moe, the Premier, that I'm against the carbon tax, I'm against pipelines, I'm going to keep hitting that, that uh, nail on the head with a hammer, and people seem to like it. I think Ryan Miley and the NDP have a far more complex agenda when they start talking about the minimum wage or when they right. start talking about their position on the carbon tax. So all these forces are coming together against the NDP and I don't think we're seeing a very productive opposition right now. It's worked in some cases where they brought up last week they brought up the issue of domestic violence. I think that got some decent coverage. Uh, this week they brought up the issue of uh, people with disabilities, the number of people with disabilities working for the yeah. government shrinking fairly drastically. So there, But those, as you say, those are real world issues, issues right? Yeah. They're not these sort of ideological, absolutely. let's bring in a minimum $15 wage. Real world et cetera, et cetera. issues absolutely work better than non-real world issues unless it's a big issue like the GTH. And I think that they made some headway with the GTH. Early uh, on. And even yeah. this week when they're talking about the fact that they're not responding to freedom of information requests saying we don't want negative publicity on it. But there just hasn't been enough of those for the NDP and they're getting less and less frequent because Here's where we are at the legislature at this point in May. Riddle me this though, should the NDP be offering up questions during the, the, the time of question period in your mind? Should it be the opportunity for them to bring forward those real life issues that affects the Saskatchewan people or they should be looking to more issues like the GTH yeah. where maybe not everybody cares about but there is this question of accountability that's the still on the table. The magic formula is to be able to do both effectively okay. and even big oppositions sometimes don't do that because they get caught up in their own agenda, they get caught up in their own resources and problems thereof and they really can't research and dig up stuff on their own and sometimes they just make bad decisions as governments do. And the budget was a bit of beyond this year too and which they, is exactly what the government wanted but absolutely. that makes things trickier to find. So it's been a tough recession for them that way. And it's almost over, but we'll join you next week. Thanks so much.